It's almost an understatement that the distance races are dominated by runners from all over the African continent. But lost in the shuffle as we begin the men's 5,000 meters is the fact that American Bob Kennedy, wearing the red singlet, has set no less than four U.S. records this summer in Europe. Larry had a chance to sit down with him yesterday and talk about his superlative 1996 season. Bob, three American records in your last three races. Pretty amazing. Why? The training has just been going very well this year, and, and I, the confidence just is getting better and better and, and more and more confident after every race. I, I run 7.33, and I think, well, there's no reason I can't run 7.31 or 7.30, and, and uh, it's just happening for me. I, everything is rolling. It's just perfect right now. Miles per week averaging how much? Oh, about 80 to 85, 105 uh, during the heavy base period in the winter. Intervals more intense and maybe shorter in between? <clears throat> um, faster and less rest. And that's the whole goal every year, faster and less rest. Do you think you'll get to a point where you can race with uh, a Coleman? You know, I don't know. I, ha I have to believe that I do. I can. Um, otherwise, there's no sense in me continuing what I'm doing. That's the way I think and the way I, I do things. Uh, 12.45 and 12.44 are incredible times, but they're, they're not mind-boggling to me. Um, I think that it, it, it is something that is possible for me at some point in the future. Last week in Brussels, his 7.31 translated to almost a 4.03 mile pace for almost two full miles. In the 5,000 meters in Zurich, that new American record worked out to 4 minutes and 10 seconds plus per mile for 3.2 miles. Bob closes out 1996 as the best non-African 3 and 5,000 meter runner in the world. And we'll be back with the conclusion of this 5,000 meters when we return to Berlin. Welcome back to the Istaf meet, the fourth in our Golden Four series. And Daniel Komen just floating along, but he will have to really pick up the pace if he's going to have any shot at the world record. Bob Kennedy of the U.S. in the red there, back in fourth place. And cruising along like he has been all summer long, breaking American record after American record. But the man of the hour and the man of really the post-Olympic season, Daniel Komen of Kenya, the 20-year-old who did not make the Kenyan squad. They have such tough trials, and then there's a subject subjective seating of athletes if they didn't do well at the trials, but they feel that they should be at the Olympics, and Kip Kano is one of the officials who makes those determinations. They figure Komen had four more years. He'd only be 24 years old at Sydney, but boy, has he turned on the track and field crowd in every venue he has been in since the Olympics. That is Kenyan Paul Koech back in second place and running strongly still in the red. That is Bob Kennedy right now leading a convoy Right now he is in third place, about 60 meters astern. And he's running well with his group again, very close to, I would guess, close to his American record as Kennedy, as we have one lap to go. Komen has slowed down substantially in the last three or four laps. The world record is out of the question, but another very strong performance by Komen. If he comes in around 61, 62, he will be sub 13 minutes for the distance. Kennedy still in third. Now setting his sights on Koech. He's going to go by him and go into second place. So a strong finishing 400 meters for Kennedy. He's only about 40 meters down to Komen at this point and may smell the chance to get much closer. Komen looks, his stride looks comfortable as though he's got something left, but definitely on this last lap, it is Kennedy running the faster of the two of, of the, between the two of them. But this young man started at the age of 13 running and by the time he was 14, people saw his gifted ability. At 17, he ran 8.54 for the steeplechase at altitude, no less. And the rest has been history ever since for the great Daniel Komen, age 20. Komen jogs in in 13.02.62. Kennedy will be second. It will not be an American record, but a strong finish for Kennedy over the last 400 meters. But this man, who knows what he can do in the years to come. Results of the men's 5,000 meters. Daniel Komen of Kenya, the winner in 1302.62. Bob Kennedy comes up for second in 1306.12. And Paul Koesh of Kenya is third.